From the cool TV studios in Lagos. And from the worldwide resources of I Missed It News, here is Red Eye. A show that looks over the stories you may have overlooked. Red Eye. Today on Red Eye, not everyone gets a glimpse of their past selves. The cars can do too. Blend in. Too late. Must be a cow to be dressed as one. I'm sexier and I know it. Don't you wish your boyfriend was hot like us? Who is? Who is? But it didn't. What for? How? Where? Why? Ah, hope you're not too disappointed. So sit back and wait till what comes afterwards. Promise not to puke. <laughs> <laughs> Here is Red Eye. Yes, it's a good thing that you cannot sleep because the Bible says that a wise man who didn't need money must not sleep. Hmm. Mm. My <laughs> <laughs> Love yeah, Love Welcome to Red Eye. I am Titi Layo Amakolo. Meet the team. We have the Everly Political Man, Leonard. Anything you think you know, he knows more. We have Chuku Di Ezogo. Welcome to Red Eye. Next to him, we have the most intelligent little man I've ever seen. I call him little man because he has something that is uh, bigger than usual. But mm -hmm. let's call me little man. Like that's it. for your pocket. Dynamite come in small packages. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Red Eye. <laughs> <laughs> Next to him, we have the one that we don't know if it's an Egyptian princess or if she's an Igbo princess or if she's a Yoruba princess. We oh, have wow. Girika Nadi. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Red Eye, guys. I'm surprised to see myself. <laughs> oh, and next to Girika, if you think we're it speaking too much grammar, oh, wait, 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 so much, and you want us to calm down to the Nigerian tone, we have Jeffrey Ebay. Welcome. All right, so uh, going straight into it, Chikudi. Well, um, you know, in, in, in other parts of the world, in other climes, people are talking of advancement, development, but in Nigeria, we're still talking of, in Edo states, to be precise. Sorry, Ben. Always Edo states. We're still talking of people, big hand. Big hand. We're still talking of people getting stuck one. in, you know, um, electric cables and the rest yes. of them. But very interesting story. Um, just take a look at Twins Born Apart. Mm. This is so touching, and I really love the story. Now, um, a woman that had fertility issues, you know, got married, and, you know, as a result of the advancement of science and technology, they took out her eggs. I don't know, I need to break it down because you guys are looking lost. You have to bring it down. Yeah. We know they took our eggs. Yeah, yeah. they took out her eggs, and, you know, they ingested the, the, the spermatozoa, yeah. you know. <laughs> now, Biology teacher. So she was able to develop, <laughs> she was able, it was fertilized. Mm. Now, there were two eggs that, you know, were developed. Now, the little baby you see in that photo is supposed to be the third um, child egg. from the egg. So after 10 years, 11 years, when the twins were 11 years old, they now developed this other egg. So this, the two adults you see in the photo are from the, are originated from the egg that brought this, um, this little baby. baby. Oh. So, so they are 11 years as senior, but they are from the same source. Yes. Uh, we know that from the spermatozoa. Mm -hmm. They're all from the same source. They're all from the same source. What you're saying is, they're they all are three plates. Yeah. Twins born, and then the third one comes 11 years, 11 years after. after. Yes, I used to joke about that thing, but you know, I'm saying that you know, it does happen. But so. does this not, that means we're having more plastic babies these days. Mm -hmm. as, no, as, 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 as big babies. 
artificial baby. Yeah, exactly. yeah, exactly. You can make, yeah. Don't allow white people to come up and carry black out of under. <laughs> but, but, but that's the advancement of science. And if, even in Nigeria, if we could even have babies that were born two days apart, our own science and technology, fine. Yeah, we have, we have a science and blood. technology. No, that's what I'm saying. Okay. No, we are sucking blood science and technology. Way. So I'd rather you do nine months later. If you see 12, fine. If you see two, fine. Glory be to God. No, very soon they will even try and I'm sure Gilika, okay. you have been working on so many things. Please, Jibudi, take us away. <laughs> yes, uh, you see, the next um, image you're going to see will be something really very, very mind blowing. Mm. Now, when you have a bay, and the bay has a bay, and you are the other bay, and you try to come in between your bay and the and side bay. Okay, in other words, when you have a girlfriend, and the girlfriend has another <laughs> girlfriend, and, they, and you're the girlfriend. And you want you're to separate the both of them. Mm -hmm. Just take a look at this image. Come assaulting mm -hmm. and see when a girlfriend wants to come in between her boyfriend and the assistant so, boyfriend. Wait, so this is what you were describing, like? Yeah. Oh, Please, describe who is the truly. girlfriend, who is the Now, the, girl, girlfriend. the girlfriend is packed um, close to the blue you vehicle, know, like and the main girlfriend, owner. yeah, you see, that's, that's, that's what you it know, is. I've actually felt like doing this <laughs> once. But is this possible? I'm thinking this thing is photoshopped. How no, it's, no, it's not, it's not, it's not yeah. photoshopped. It's not photoshopped. Ah, is it possible? So yeah. that's science with, and technology. Was the, guy, was the guy drunk? <laughs> Anything can happen. Anything you know, can happen. If well, people uh, can be caught mm. up in uh, cables in Edo State. Yeah. Uh, sure. Can we leave Edo State and cables? Let's leave it. Let's leave it. Let's, yeah, let's, let's, let's uh, have mercy on Bernard, you know. Um, actually, guys, there's this one that really, that really caught, uh, get you guys going. Um, I don't know. Some guys, I don't know. When they go for robbery, they, they act smart. But I think they are so well at the long at the, at the long run they, they they become so daft when they want to carry out their mission, you know. <laughs> because uh, this guy actually he felt he was smart. He went into a mall and wore himself with with um, clothed grass and um, he was trying to act smart. But guess what? Fished him out. I won't tell you till you see it. The mm -hmm. same grass. The same, <laughs> he was being fished out by a grass also. Wow. <laughs> he was trying to blend him with you his know. environment. Wow. Okay, so in other words, he was another, out how? another by a dog. <laughs> okay, so the dog uh, bit his ears or what, and he screamed. You know, he laid down. He actually went into the mall. Then the police were looking, they, 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 they were um, kind of suspecting that something was actually going on. Mm -hmm. He comes in, he steals, he goes, comes in, so he kept on doing it. So later on, they now started investigating. So when the, the cops came in, they now used the dog. They were searching, searching, they couldn't find him. And the long run, man, the dog just came and sniffed him. But out. you know what? I said he's lucky that it was a dog. When, when the dog, the dog had to bite him, and the next thing, he's the guy lucky shouted. he's a dog bite. <laughs> what if it was lawnmower? They were used to call right? the guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, you know his ass would probably go. That's the only thing, but he survived. How you sure it was his, it was his <laughs> boss that would go? <laughs> what he <laughs> was lying down exactly. on the ground. He was lying down on his balls. You know, but I think, I think the, the police should give this guy another opportunity. I mean, if you can, yeah, if you can, I think the guy should join him. Yeah, that was smart. He, he, people, people do not even go through this, this stress very, in Nigeria. We don't need bunkers. So, no, this, this is a very guy, good disguise. He, he should join the Marines or the sniper right, team. He will do well. Away, and uh, well, let me give you guys this one. It's a nice it's a form of creativity to say. The picture is nice. Um, naked farmer. Let's see what these guys came up with with their pics. Oh, no, this is very... Uh, well, very creative. The, the Bible says, what, uh, what shall happen if ye... Have 100 sheep, you lose one of the sheep. Will you not leave the 99 sheep to go after the one that is missing? Exactly. Naked. So, yeah. 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 Wow. 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 This is scary. This is, this is, this is really scary. scary. Yeah, I, I, you know one thing I'll say? This actually, honestly, there are different things that make us to appreciate our religion. Mm. When I saw this, it made me feel loved. Like, so this is how important I am, that you have to run naked. To look for me. This was the initial. This was the initial. This was the initial plan. You know, before. Aww. Yeah, before you know, we were given all these things. This was the initial plan before. Yeah, yeah I know. Know. And fine enough. Do you know that the world would actually <laughs> move forward if everybody would dress like themselves? They would love themselves more. They would appreciate themselves more. There would be less sexual abuse. Are you saying the world would move forward if we we're all naked? Yes. Yes, because so, you've seen it. You've seen it. You've seen it. There's yeah, some Mickey so, like you know. see. <laughs> anyway, so this story <laughs> now <laughs> is an ad somebody put up, and you know when. People like Jeff's people decide to rob. I'm mm. sorry, not you. The, the guy in the ghillie suit, when he goes out to rob and he gets caught, and the police decide, okay, no, or let's assume he doesn't get caught and he gets away with it, and they decide to put it up for an ad. Now, look at what somebody did. It says, um, wanted for robbery, and you'd expect a face to describe wow. this. Wow, I recognize this guy now. You no, know no. him? He is the cat man. <laughs> he's, the, he's the cat robber. The police should be able to fish this guy out. Everybody looks like this now. This is like everybody in a mask. Everybody in a mask. He looks so oh familiar. Yeah. I know. Oh, that was so He looks so familiar. All right. Okay. Um, there's another one that I stumbled across. This says this could have made big news, but 
Mm, Unfortunately, they make big news. They make something really news. small. Okay, and this could have big, uh, big, big, news. big news. But, okay. So, okay. Deputy Constable Johnny Kushia and Frank, somebody I put an address where they were to serve a warrant yesterday. A loud dog ran from the rear of the house and began growling in an unfriendly manner. What will I do if he bites me? Kushia asked. Just bite him back. Bite him <laughs> That's where you laugh. From inside, <laughs> look, the very From inside the house, the woman screamed. She yelled, "Said, don't you dare bite my dog!" <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's very interesting, right there. Big news. Oh my yeah. God! Well, you know, funny you know, you know, enough, yeah. I saw an online exam, and you know, and uh, it was for it was actually for broadcasting. You know, and they say what is news and what is not news. They say when a dog bites a man, it is news. But when man bites, do dog. when a dog bites a man, it's not news. news. But, but when a man bites a dog, it is news. news. Expansion. No, but it doesn't work in Calabar. Because if a man bites a dog, the dog will not survive it. Anyway, anyway, going away from dog bites and um and and human beings biting dog dogs rather. This particular guy has been banned from a Chinese restaurant. Now we know Chinese people with respect to all the oriental friends I have, they eat different funny things. You know, now you go into a Chinese restaurant and because it looks like grass, does not mean it is grass. And then you will know, <laughs> and then we know where you are coming from, we know what you do in the grass. So this guy must have gone to do what he does in the grass, thinking that was grass, oh. without knowing that it was something that they eat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> man from Chinese yeah, restaurant for look at it, in seaweed. Uh, but, 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 <laughs> but you can't you can't blame him. What? I mean, when you serve grass on the table, and wait, you but should he the be going to poop even in the bush? Come oh, on, he's a white man. He's he's a he a he's he is a natural color. He's a natural color. He's a natural color. He's a natural color. But you know, in school, I mean, are you fully taking? You fully give out? Secondary school, I went. So when you don't have toilet paper, oh. you pick a leaf from a bush and, and what, wipe up. What secondary school? I'm what, not you going to, to call it. <laughs> anyway, let's leave a secondary school. Now, some people are looking for their teeth. I don't know if you if you grew up as a tush kid like me. Hello. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> when we, so hard. Yeah, when we lose our teeth, we put it in the matchbox and put it on our pillow for, for the, the tooth, tooth fairy, fairy like, to bring dollars or something. You know. Some people are looking for missing teeth. I don't know where they are. So, wait, so, so you used to keep your teeth for tooth fairy in Nigeria. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. And you know, you know, growing up, right? It's my dad would take the teeth from like under our pillows and slip some Naira coins on our pillow. Uh, and we used to think it was tooth fairy. Yeah, we used to think it was tooth fairy. Let me tell you the one. But my mom used to tell us to throw it. Throw it on the roof. The roof is like the little that doesn't get it, then it's not going to grow back. So you always pray that please, 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 your teeth. The teeth is too valuable to lose. <laughs> Why should you lose your teeth? So your parents will beat you for losing your teeth. For losing your teeth, they'll beat you. <laughs> so what God has given you, keep it. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm a, a lover of kittens. Anyone that does not love kittens in Nigeria, mm. shame on you for being so a do a do a doite that you don't understand that cats are, are not witches. Anyway, mm -hmm. I just love. Proud of Edu, excuse me. Anyway, you know squirrels are practically like rats in Nigeria. I mean, Nigerians see them as the same thing, and we expect cats to eat them. But look at this extremely cute picture of squirrel and kittens being together in a play. Oh, my Aww. God. <laughs> What's so adorable Fresh about that? Fresh meat. Fresh meat. From the traditionalist himself. I'm sure there are people in... No, 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 no. Oh, I'm sure there are people who eat squirrels. I need to ask, which, which, oh, of, the, which of them are you calling fresh meat? My dear, no, when like you the use ball. the head of that... The cats yeah. and the head of the lamb to prepare fresh pepper soup. No, but you know, cats head. But I think I the, the lesson lesson from it's this. Oh. Words, please. If not, you don't know. It's here. Oh. Oh. The lesson, the lesson from this is, the lesson from this is, even you know, mm. animals from Europe are very civilized. Mm. Look at cats and squirrels living together right in peace. Here. No, no, but no, in Nigeria, right. husband right and wife, or in Africa. You have a husband and wife living Why like, like no, the husband, husband and wife thing transcends. Wife, it trans it transcends, it transcends it borders. Together. Whether in Africa or in Europe, yeah, husband it and wife. Everywhere. It's everywhere. Anyway, so um, coming up, if we've been too serious, of which I know we've not been. I mean, you saw the robber, the cats. Robert, in case you know him, please, it's very important. Go to the police and report him. So let's uh, see this comic release. I hope you release. have Release. Really? Release. Release. You know that picture I showed you about everybody? Yeah. We have that one friend that everything you say, mm. he turns it into something no, natural. We didn't, we didn't turn anything here. Okay, so Please. I like seeing where it turns up. Mm. Mm. It turns. You might you go see? to a church uh, rummage sale that's nothing but ha ha hat pins and broken blenders and you'll come, blah, blah, blah. Okay, wow. move on. Wow, wow, uh, wow. Okay, mm -hmm. what I can get from this is that uh, the pot of soup I ate yesterday was, was very interesting. That's true, what true. I was trying to explain. Yeah. What do you understand from for this? For me, the moral of the story here is um, 
we need more light. Mm. Mm. We need more light. Um, so, so that we need more light. Sorry. Are you are you reading political reports? <laughs> what yeah, he's getting it. Yeah. Give the moral of your. It's story. abstract. What you, you know, from what I can deduce, mm. oh, we need from more light. That. Okay, I I felt that you know I should just bury my head in the books till I find something else that makes more sense. <laughs> <laughs> so are you saying that you're dumb or? No, no, it's okay, that you're so, not uh, very if smart. you want to uh, follow us on Facebook or you want to comment or you want to give us things to talk about, remember to send us an email, redeye at cooltv.co. We're on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash cooltv redeye. And remember to use the hashtag in all your comments in hashtag redeye. Now we'll take this quick break and we'll be right back. Here is Red Eye. Welcome back to Red Eye. Remember our eyes on your tweets and your emails, so run to our social media portals, send us an email, redeye at cooltv.co, go to uh, Facebook, Cool TV Red Eye, and we move on with the show. Now, we've been giving you several odd stories. You've seen the picture of the robber. I can't get over that one. The guy that was going after his lost ship. Now we have the weirdest couples, 25 weirdest couples. Now, let's start with the first one. Hmm. Well, do I think Number I 25. Do you even tan, bruh? Number 24. Hippie love! Wait, does she have a goatee? Number 23. Between his balding mullet and her eyeshadow, I think we have a winning combination. Number 22. Damn, look at the love in that kid's eyes. He's in heaven with her and she's never getting away. Number 21. Gary taking a quick break from rocking ladies' worlds to get married. Yeah. Uh, that was just ridiculous. Well, I, no, I think I like the one, the guy with plenty of hair and the wife with... There's some people who actually like women with goatee. Hello, Jeff. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's the truth. Jeff I like people with, oh women with goatee. For Strong women, or what did you say? Mm. Strong <laughs> women, right? For the first time of blushing. For the first time of blushing. Like, wait. Jeff has a weird fetish. I'm telling you. Women with goatee. Are you serious? Oh, my God. When you meet her, I'll be like, oh, dear, baby. Stroke it, baby. Stroke it, baby. Okay. Let me get this. Let me get this. Anyway. Another five unusual weird couple. And, you know, let's see this one. Hopefully, we don't see more bearded Jeffrey kind of people. Couple. Unusual, you know. Number 20. What do you like to do for fun? I like to wear funky sweaters and murder people. Oh my god, me too! Number 19. She has a cute face too. Too bad she looks like a demon baby with a weave. Hey bro, do you mind if I get in on this? Number 18. I'd say his expression looks about right for the situation. Does he have money attached to his suit? I guess they're trying to convince him to say, I do. Number 17. Two lovers of cats. Number 16. She married a crow magnon. Holy crap, I'm picturing sex between these two and it involves the word destruction. Oh, man. All right, number 16. I like the That's cats one. That reminds the cats me of one, yeah, yeah, exactly. But well, did you guys see the way the guys I sat? Like, I mean, he actually sat like yeah, this. Yeah, like, like, you know. Yeah, okay, yeah, number guys. 16 really, really pushed me off. That look, the guy, I thought it was an incredible hawk. Yeah. yeah. That, that guy was looking so... Well, that guy will kill I don't you. know. One, the wedding um, night and the beach party. Well, <laughs> it, well, let's... Science and technology mm -hmm. is dependent on the technique Moving that on. you adopt. Biology then teacher. I move on, please. Uh-huh. Well, we're going down to one, and this is 15 to 11. We still have some very, very interesting... Couples here that you should take a look at. But don't talk about spermatozoa. No, no, that's for that's for that's um Chukudis, okay. that's Chukudis line of business. <laughs> <laughs> line of business. Let's go to the, the other couple. Number fifteen. You know he's so skinny because he can't get any food before she does. Number fourteen. This looks like the Doublemint twins meeting John Stamos's older gay brothers. Number thirteen. If this is the porn, I do not want to see it. What the hell? Number twelve. He looks like a little kid in her lap. Breastfeeding time. Number 11. Honey, I got you a chainsaw, which you can later yeah. use to hack me up. He looks right. like a boy. Speaking of the chainsaw, uh, trust me. I mean, I'm not saying I love white people, but they can be crazy too. I mean, that chainsaw, how do you give a man chainsaw when you know he's going to use it on you and not the house? I love, I love the interracial couple. Mm. The black guy. I was going to say that, yeah, the black guy. Once you go black, you, go black, you never, never go back. Out, the end point yeah, result is going to be you know, <laughs> unimaginable. Talk but about let's still points. move on with the weirdest couple. You know, we're going to take it down now from the 10 to the 6, and let's see what comes up. Number 10. You're thinking that's an odd way to dress for rain? I'm thinking they're on their way to a bukkake event. 
number nine. These guys look absolutely perfect for each other. Question is, who spends more time in the mirror? Number eight. As you can see, the birth of his child was the happiest day of his life. Number seven. They share a love of bananas. There is no hidden meaning in this picture. Number six. Does he even know what he's grabbing right now? All right, the one about the people sharing bananas, right? There's, there's a, very proud of Yeah, we're very yeah. proud. And yes. there's a saying that a girl told me, you know, a long time ago. She said, a lady must never look a guy in the face while she's eating a banana. Wow. wow. Mm -hmm. But, but it's, it's the face of love. <laughs> 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 this guy. Now, please, don't describe. Just, well, it's science and technology. Now, you've seen five, you've seen um, all of the world's couple. Mm -hmm. Now, let's give this to five. five, four, three, two, one, <laughs> top five. <laughs> Do not give us that your tongue thing now. No, we don't want your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> One, three, five. Who wants a piggyback ride? Just better hope she doesn't say, my turn. Number four. He seems to be saying, stay away from my woman, not realizing that that statement and the sword are completely unnecessary. Number three. Okay, so it's just some kid hugging his grandma, right? And she's wearing a wedding dress and there's rings on the photo, and he's making out with her. Number two. In a real life Lars and the Real Girl, a Michigan man going by the online name Dave Cat married his doll whom he calls Sidore Kuraneko. He also has another doll, Elena, who is in a bisexual relationship with his doll wife. Dave Cat was featured on TLC's My Strange Addiction. Number one. Why bother with an expensive sex doll when you can just marry your pillow? That is what Korean man Lee Jin Gyu did. He married his Daki Makura, or love pillow, which features an anime character, Fate Testarossa, on it. The concept of a Daki Makura was featured in an episode of 30 Walk where James Franco was in love with a pillow named Kimiko. Which couple was oddest to you? Well, I can actually understand being in love with your pillow. That's definitely the best one for me. Now, the, only part, the only part the I will understand when you're, when you're in love with your pillow or your doll is when you're hungry and you need her to cook a good meal for you. I'm still, I'm still you know, for the guy, still... no, but the, the fifth but guy. When... You, but this is, this is like an advice to Titi and uh, Ginica. Mm -hmm. You see, you people just Seven have to contend with Seven men shall come after us and we will choose one. Right, <laughs> amen, amen, amen. But is that not this part of the Bible that also says the time will come when seven women will struggle to bear No, but name. that's why I'm saying seven mm. men. That's what the, is the man that You guys that. only oh. have to contend with your mother and yours. Please, please. Mm. please. Not Enough with strange. Titi and I, we good girls, we have seven men. Focus on the one you have, you have seven, seven men, men you that we'll pick from. Seven men. Your mind, you guys should get out of the bunker. After sampling seven men. You should take... No, what? we said we don't we sample. Come your mind are so. And you will choose from men. the one who is the one you have been speaking okay, okay, in a very, okay. very, very kind of way. Not sure so this is not a debate of the weirdest couple in the world. Exactly. It is a show that brings you the oddest stories, the oddest and oddest. And I'm happy Nigerians are not there. Oh, I love my country. Arise, so oh, Okay. <laughs> so here's a quick recap of all we have done today. Today on Red Eye, we discovered <sighs> that was. Uh... I felt that, you know, I should just bury my head in the books till I find something else that makes more sense. <laughs> what a match living together. What a pair. Yay! Kitty, 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 kitty. I like the That's... cat's one that reminds me of the cat's one. Yeah, exactly. Point sure, resources you know, means you know, unimaginable. <laughs> Send me an email of your obituary. Let's science and technology. Mm -hmm. It's dependent on the technique Moving that you on. adopt. Um, There's some people who actually like me when we go to hell. In that chainsaw, how do you give a man chainsaw when you know he's going to use it on you and not the house? Don't do it again. A lady must never look a guy in the face while she's eating a banana. It's, it's the face of love. <laughs> <laughs> That's it on Red Eye today. Run to our social media portals, Red Eye at CoolTV.co to send us an email, Facebook, Cool TV Red Eye, and use the hashtag Red Eye. We're on YouTube, so go to the Cool TV uh, channel and begin to watch all the Red Eye uploads. And from uh, uh, Chukudi Ezugu, the Evil Serious One, Bernada <laughs> Kede, the Intelligence One, Gini Kanadi, the Egyptian Princess, we have uh, Jeffrey Ibe yeah, and myself, Titilayo Amakolo. We say goodbye. Bye. Au revoir. Red Eye, Red Eye, Red Eye. <laughs> Au revoir. <laughs> <laughs>
Au revoir. Be sure to join us every Saturday, 10 p.m. on Cool TV. Here is Red Eye.